Well, good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albinorano Beer Review. Today's beer, today's, well, you know what? Scratch all that. Good day, YouTube, and welcome to another episode of the Albinorano Cooler Review. We actually are looking at a cooler today. I have it right here. This is American Vintage Hard Iced Tea. It says, um, tea with lemon, uh, Real home style hard iced tea. Taste the difference. 5% alcohol by volume. There is the can art. Uh, I actually, when this first came to Canada a few years ago, I actually had a chance to get a sample of this. I didn't end up getting it. Um, they had sent me an email saying, This is so and so from American Vintage. Uh, we, we, we love your reviews. We'd like to send you a bottle. And I didn't even respond to it because. It was a Hotmail account that sent me this information. And, I mean, if you're a big company, big enough to get into the LCBO, I'm sure you at least have your own domain name. Come on. How many don't? How many don't? Or, if they don't have it, they actually have the company in the, uh, in the email address instead. Maybe not at American Vintage, but American Vintage at Hotmail. No, it was whoever's name it was that was their, uh, person. So anyway, let's try this real homebrew taste. Okay, so there's going to be no carbonation, obviously. I like the uh, little pinup girl like thing. Uh, the uh, the diner girl, the diner girl, the drive-through diner girl. I just she just needs skates on her feet instead of high heels. Uh, looks like diarrhea. Let's be honest. Looks like really bad diarrhea. Very murky. But you know what? It looks like iced tea. So I mean, it it looks the part. It's just a lot murkier than I expected. Kind of, kind of smells like orange pico tea with a hint of lemon. So I mean, it smells the part too. Ah, uh, let's try it. Cheers, guys. Um, you know what? I actually don't mind this. I think this would be a great summer drink served over ice. I mean, it is really cold. It's only been out of the fridge for about 30 minutes. So it's it's cold. But I think you serve this over ice and you take out that little bit of um, alcoholic flavor that's in there. Because you do get a little bit of an alcohol bite in there, but really it's a nice, sweet, tea-like taste. Um, very much like sweet tea for you Americans, not as much like uh, like home-brewed iced tea for you Americans like I would have expected. A little bit of lemon, a little bit of tea, but very sweet like it's sugared. Sugar's probably there to hide that alcohol flavoring, but it's not bad. Little tea aftertaste. So if you're a tea drinker, it isn't actually a bad thing. If you're a uh, cooler drinker, it's not a bad thing because it's sweet as well. All in all, it could have been a lot worse than it was. Um, out of ten, seven seven five. I'll buy another can of this. I'll uh, share it with the wife. Um, yeah, if you get a chance to try the American Vintage Hard Iced Tea, let me know what you think. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's great. I don't think it's bad, though. It's actually solid. It is what it is. Um, if you were to give me a choice between uh, Twisted Tea's original, this, or Coors Light Ice Tea, the clit, um, as much as I'd choose a real clit, I would actually probably choose this over the other two. Um, so, yeah. Thank you, guys. Cheers. Cheers.